सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए The Council on Energy, Environment and Water (CEEW) released a study on extreme climatic events taking place in India. The study was released under the title Preparing India for Climate Events. In the study, hotspots of extreme climate events such as cyclone, floods, drought, heat and cold waves have been identified. This is for the very first time that extreme weather event hotspots in the country have been mapped out. In today's edition of RTNS we will let you know about the key findings of this report. According to the study over 9.7 crore people are currently exposed to extreme floods in India. Not only this back in 2019 India witnessed 16 extreme flood events affecting almost 151 districts six of india's eight most flood prone districts in the last decade are in assam the intensity frequency and unpredictability of these extreme events have risen in the recent decades while india witnessed 250 extreme climate events in the past 35 years between 1970 and 2005 It recorded 310 such weather events in just 15 years beginning from 2005 to the year 2020. As found out by the study of the Council on Energy, Environment and Water, in the last 50 years, the frequency of flood events have risen almost 8 times. Events related with floods such as landslides, heavy rainfall, hailstorms, thunderstorms and cloud bursts increased over 20 times. The frequency of floods surged significantly in the last two decades it was found between 1970 and 2004 three extreme flood events occurred per year or an on an average but after the year 2005 the yearly average rose to 11 the annual average for districts affected until 2005 was 19 after the year 2005 on an average 55 districts were affected by floods each year according to the program leader of CEEW the current trend of catastrophic climate events results from a meager 0.6 degree celsius temperature rise in the last 100 years india is already the fifth most vulnerable country globally in terms of extreme climate events and it is all set to become the world's flood capital The analysis of CEEW indicates that while the number of rainy days during the monsoon have decreased single day extreme rainfall events are also increasing leading to flooding as per the study the yearly average of drought affected districts increased 13 times after 2005 almost 68% of the districts have faced droughts and drought like situations Until the year 2005 the number of districts affected by drought was 6 but after 2005 this figure rose to 79 drought affected district hotspots of india in the last decade were 9 in number while the intensity of damage in terms of loss of life has reduced significantly droughts increase uncertainties related to agriculture and rural livelihoods The study also found a shift in the pattern of extreme climate events such as flood prone areas becoming drought prone and vice versa in over 40% of Indian districts. Generally, flood prone districts such as Katak, Guntur, Kurnool, Srikakulam, Mahbubnagar, Nalgonda and Paschim Champaran have become drought prone in the recent years. States like Andhra Pradesh Tamil Nadu and Karnataka have also been increasingly witnessing more droughts while floods and droughts coincide during the same season in several districts of Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Odisha and Tamil Nadu. Over 75% districts in India 
home to more than 63.8 crore people, are hotspots of extreme climate events such as cyclones, floods, droughts, heat and cold waves. This type of change in the climate patterns in a smaller area is known as microclimatic zone shifting. Microclimatic zones or areas where the weather is different from surrounding areas are shifting across various districts of India, the study has found. A shift in microclimatic zones may lead to severe disruptions across sectors. Every 2 degrees rise in annual mean temperature will reduce agricultural productivity by 15 to 20 percent. What are the reasons responsible for this climatic shift? This climatic shift is due to the change in land use patterns, disappearing wetlands and natural ecosystems by encroachment and urban heat islands that trap heat locally. There are some way forward and recommendations made by the report. Develop a climate risk atlas to map critical vulnerabilities such as coast, urban heat stress, water stress and biodiversity collapse. Develop an integrated emergency surveillance system to facilitate a systematic and sustained response to emergencies. Increase the participatory engagement of all stakeholders in the risk assessment process. Integrate risk assessment in local, subnational and national level plans. Mainstream risk assessment at all levels including localized, regional, sectoral, cross-sectoral, macro and microclimatic level and also increase adaptive and resilience capacity to climate-proof lives, livelihood and investment.